I just finished my finals this week, and it made me want to. <coughs> but if you're watching this video, I know you're here for the fastest way to study, and I am here to deliver that. Step one, prioritize. So if you're procrastinating, which you probably are if you're watching this video, one thing you will lack is time. So you have to decide what's best for you. Let me give you an example. You have one day to study and you have two classes, one being math and the other English. You realize you have a 78 in math and a 96 in English. You should be spending most of your time studying for the math at that point. A good ratio would be like a 70-30. You would think this would be common sense, but it's not. Some would try for a 50-50 ratio, which makes no sense at all since you have more to lose for one of the classes. Step two, read. Hopefully you actually took notes, and if not, I cannot emphasize enough that you have to read your textbook. There should be specific chapters to read for that exam, and you have to make sure you actually understand it and to write down any type of questions you have while you're reading. I do recommend doing this in isolation and away from your phone for maximum efficiency. If you can find yourself a white room, lock yourself in there. Step three, notes. Look over any notes you took. If you didn't take any notes, look over any worksheets or slides that your teacher may have given you. This will help you gain even more knowledge and help fill in the blanks for any questions you had while reading. If you follow these three steps, you should at least be getting an 80%, but can we do anything to boost that to an A? Step four, putting it together. So any information you read or find in your notes, put it in a separate document called study guide. Anything important you found in the worksheet or the slides, put in that document. Finally, you wanna look up separate videos on YouTube to try to gain more information on that topic so you can put in your study guide. This will help in terms of that mind-muscle connection and it's a good way to review what you learned. Plus you have a ton of information on one document versus having the information scattered everywhere. Honestly, the best advice I can give you is to be disciplined while you're doing this and to take breaks when needed. The breaks should be for five minutes every 30 minutes. And for the love of God, if you can avoid procrastination, please do that. It'll help in the long run to make sure you don't die from stress. I left off some of the obvious stuff like flashcards and studying with friends, because if I need to talk to you about that, then you weren't just gonna do it in the first place. You got this and good luck on your next exam.